and angels deserve to die. Am I self-righteous boy? Welcome back, everybody, to the show. I am your host, as always, Jay Villain, aka that villain Jay. And tonight, we have a very special treat for you. Yes, we do. Because tonight, tonight, we have Boros Burning Angels. Yes. Uh, Angel Life Gain with a little bit of Clerics in. Uh, just, just a good, solid deck. We actually made quite a bit of progress with this deck. Uh, pushed all the way. We're going to be pushing into plat one here. It's probably going to help us get out of plat hell tonight, uh, which is really nice. Um, and I haven't done an angel deck in a while. I haven't done, I, I don't think I've updated it with Elspeth yet. And I definitely wanted to do that uh, with the new Elspeth that just popped um, recently. Really come up with something good here. So, and I haven't done a Boros in a while. So hopefully you'll appreciate the Borosness of it. Really, the only Boros thing we have is the Angel Fire. However, uh, there are some other options we're going to have with this. I do want to show them to you. Uh, so before we get down to that, I need you to do something for me. Do you know what I need you to do for me is tenderly press that like button. Gently press that subscribe button. Because if you don't, if you don't press that like and subscribe button, you will be attacked by the like and subscribe. Which, as you know, may or may not know, is a YouTube werewolf who will rip you up. Rip you to shreds with his claws. Join us on a stream every night at twitch.tv slash villainj for all live streaming goodness. We would love to have you there live and in person. We actually just passed 1,800 followers. So that's fantastic. That's really fun. Uh, we're headed up to 19. We're trying to get to that 2K follower mark right there. So why don't you come and join us? Join the villains today. You check out our Discord community for all the latest news and information. Post your memes. Get deck advice. Anything you want is going to be there. And of course, this deck and all the other ones that I build are available down below on my Aether Hub. So don't you worry about that. It'll all be right down there in the description. So what are we talking about when we talk about this Angel Fury? Um, as you can see, the one red I'm really going for is Angel Fire. However... However, there are some other options. I've been playing around with this for a while, so we're going to show you some a few other things, especially for your best of uh, best of three boys who like to change it up a little bit. Lunark Veteran, um, I love, you know, it's kind of that Soul Warden, the simple Soul Warden, you know, Soul Warden at home because it has both, but they're kind of split apart. So one drop, one one, um, Human Cleric, whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, you gain one life. Life gain is going to be essential for this one. And, of course, you have Luminous Phantom, even though, for some reason, they put white text on a white background. Really, really good art design there, guys. I love reading white text on a white background. It's always super, super easy. Uh, it's a 1-1 one, one flying, and whenever a creature leaves the battlefield, you gain one life. So if you have both of them out, you just technically have, like, a Soul Warden out. Uh, very useful. Great one drop. Just helps you build that life gain. So now we're going to talk about removal. I don't have that much removal. Not as much as you might think. Um, I have Destroy Evil and Faithful Absence, and as you'll see in some of these games coming up, Destroy Evil uh, was absolutely clutch. Why? Destroying a, t a toughness creature for a greater gets rid of your Sheldred right there, or Destroy Target Enchantment. That is worth its weight in gold right now. I actually would think about Destroy Target Enchantment um, more frequently. I, I would consider maybe even stocking up on those. Sanctify is not a bad one. <coughs> <clears throat> to go with that goes after an artifact or an enchantment so you consider that one and you gain the life out of it uh really really good stuff right there enchantments are a very powerful spot and just being able to draw that tech to deal with them just super good just super good uh faithful absence of course is a direct removal especially for planeswalkers fantastic as well we're gonna go with four giadas i normally don't four up legendaries but honestly i've played giadas on top of giada and the thing is when she comes into play and you already have a giada she gets the one one you could choose the bigger one uh this is going to ramp our high ender uh, our high end angels right there one white and one legendary creature angel flying vigilance each other angel you control um you control enters the battlefield with additional one one and she's got flying and vigilance meaning that she can hit and then provide her one white mana only to cast an angel spell very very useful stuff right there uh, all around just awesome so we're going to combo that with voice of the blessed which is going to be two white uh what turn one lunark turn two voice of the blessed just a classic combo that's been with us for a while uh it's going to really really rip up when we do that it's it's very very strong um 
we just like it, man. It's just really, really cool. The more life we gain, we get it into 4-4. Uh, we get four counters on it. It's going to be a 6-6 six, six flying. Um, so whenever you gain life, you put one. So each ping of life gets a 1-1. One, one. And as long as it has four more counters, it has flying. And as long as it has 10 or more counters, it's indestructible. Just an all-around amazing cleric card right there. Guardian of Gyarpur. Gyarpur. Gihar, Gihirapur. One white and two Gihirapur. Uh, one white and two angel flying three three when Gihirapur, guardian Gihirapur enters the battlefield. Exile up to one turn creature you control. Return at the end, uh, battlefield under its owner's step at the beginning of the end step. Useful. Why? We have a couple of cards that are useful when they OTB. Um, that's why we don't have too many of these. She's very cool. 3-3 three, three flying and she'll be cheaper to come an angel. I do like to flash in cards that uh, with Giada if they come back into the battlefield and now there's more angels. Uh, each other angel you control enters the battlefield with an additional 1-1 one, one counter for each angel you already control. So if you didn't have Giada out, you can exile an angel and bring it back in for even more powerful because it's not cast. It's when it enters the battlefield. Uh, it will be charged up by uh, Giada. It will trigger Lunark Veteran again. Uh, and you have stuff like Inspiring Overseer, which is going to be an OTB effect, uh, which will be one life and draw a card. You also have Boonbringer Valkyrie, which we'll get to. That's kind of the one we want to OTB. So we're going to go with Guardian the uh, Gear Upper for a little bit right there. Um, like I said, we have Inspiring Overseer, one white and two. Two, one, flying, enters the battlefield, gain one life and draw. Such a, just a unique card. Um, a two, one, flying, you're saying for three, that's a little expensive, but the overall utility is an aggressive kind of flyer on turn three, usually not even turn three, and if you have a Giada, you can get it out faster, and it'll be a three, two. Um, and drawing that extra card, being able to draw that extra card and gain a life, pings, voice of the blessed, it does all kind of good stuff right there. Angel Fire Ignition, the main reason we're doing this deck, uh, Boros, but not the only reason. Two one one counters and target creature, it gains vigilance, trample, lifelink, indestructible, and haste until the end of turn. Brutal, brutal card. One white, one red, and one. Uh, I love to put this on Voice of the Blessed. Why? Because it gets so much amazing stuff uh, that you could add those two one ones, and all of a sudden it permanently has those one one counters on it. It's going to ping for lifelink, so it's going to end up with another one one counter on it when it attacks. Just an amazing card to push out right there. We're only going with three because it does have a flashback for one more. I don't feel like we need four too much, um, uh, too much on there. Because, uh, you know, we can replay it later on. It's not that hard. Archangel Elspeth. There she is. Legendary playing creature Elspeth. Two white and two. Create a 1-1 one, one white creature token with lifelink. Fantastic. We made a soldier uh, right there. Um, put two 1-1 one, one counters and target creature. It becomes an angel in addition to all the other creatures and gains flying. So she will turn people into angels if they not already are. But two 1-1 one, one counters and it becomes an angel. Then we can angelify our voice of the blessed. It gets two 1-1 one, one counters. It'll get flying even though it already get flying. But it will get angelified uh, very, very nicely there from Elspeth. We don't really ever need the 9-2 two, two, two so much. I do want to get to the negative 6. Because if people have been running removal, if they've been running board wipes, return Turn all non-land permanents with a mana value 3 or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Brutal, man. We have a lot of those. Inspiring Overseer, Guardian of Gadper, Voice of the Blessed, Giada, uh, and uh, Lunark. That's a lot of stuff on the cheap end right there that's going to flash back to the battlefield. Very, very bad if we do get the... Um, uh, and that's all non-land permits from your graveyard to the battlefield. So that's a big hit. If you have on top of that Angel Fire because you can give somebody haste... You can really do a lot of damage that way. So um, Elspeth is very cool. Another reason that we are running Esper, right? I mean, not Esper, Boros right here uh, is two white and two. It's going to be the Angel of Wrath. Awesome card. I love her pearl and gold armor. Just beautiful. Three, four with the kicker of red. We don't have the kicker of black, but I, we do have the kicker of red right here. Flying and lifelink, meaning that when she enters, we can kick her for one red and we can do two damage to any creature, which will ping for two life. If we kick black, it'll ping for two more life. We don't have that option. Um, but again, with Jada Font of Hope and everything else we have going in, um, we can do it again. And again, Guardian of Gyapur, uh, when you enter the battlefield... Um, if it was kicked, uh, you can do it. I don't think you can re-kick. You can only do kicking cost on, on, uh, things. You can't re-kick that, but still, still very cool. Uh, you can bring it back in and make it more powerful. And again, a life gain, a ping. It's, it's very effective. It's Paraceragon, or also known as Sarah Paragon. Two white, 
two, three, four, angel, kind of the opposite of Archangel of Wrath. This is the Wrath, and this is the Mercy. Once per turn, you may cast a permanent land. You may play a permanent from your graveyard or cast a permanent spell with three or less from your from your graveyard. If you do, when this permanent is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, exile, exile it, and you gain two life. Again, all those three drops, all those cheaper cards that we're playing right there uh, are able to get resurrected with Sarah Paragon. Very, very useful, and even when they die, they gain life. Now we're going to be talking about Boonbringer Valkyrie right here. This is one of the newer ones, which absolutely rips people up. Um, two white and three, four, four, backup. What does backup do? It enters the battlefield, put a 1-1 one, one counter on target creature. If that creature uh, also has abilities, it gets those abilities listed under backup. So it will grant somebody... Uh, flying first strike and lifelink plus one one until the end of turn which is amazing when this comes in and this is another one that we want to flash in and out with guardian of grapper basically because enters the battlefield it uh, we can exile return it to the battlefield under its owner's control at the beginning of the next end step it will continue to give out its boon uh basically backing stuff up it, i know it's the end but it will give a one one counter right there uh very very useful um in that effect because it can keep putting one one counters on stuff angel warrior absolutely charges people up like crazy um especially if you know you're swinging in with somebody knowing that when they come in it's kind of like a miniature angel fire that you're casting with a bonus angel right there uh somebody's gonna get flying first strike and lifelink brutal brutal hit right there and of course we're gonna go real steel right here with steel seraph uh that's a six drop honestly the six drop basically sucks I'm going to be perfectly honest with you. The prototype for two white and one is where it's at. I don't care about having to pay a specifically colored mana. Two white and one, a three, three is perfectly fine. The only reason that you would be playing three more mana is for an additional two, one. And if you have Giada, Giada, um, Font of Hope on the battlefield, he's already going to come in uh, with a 1-1 one, one on top of that. I should say she, all angels are she. Um, at the beginning of combat on your turn, target creature you control gains your choice of Flying, Vigilance, Lifelink into the end of turn. Are you guys seeing a theme? Flying, Vigilance, Lifelink? Are you seeing an angelic theme right here? It is kicking it right there. Uh, being, being able to give anybody Flying, anybody Lifelink, or anybody Vigilance, just such a brutal, uh, just a beautiful tactical advantage all around. Just a great card. Super cool. Looks like some sort of crazy cyberpunk angel. I love it. 10, 10 mountains, five, uh, 10 planes, 5 mountains. Battlefield Forge, I don't care about that damage. We're going to be gaining a lot of life. Sundown Pass is all right. I throw one Jet Mirror's Garden in there just in case we want to cycle it out. Sundown Pass is fine too. Um, and then we're thinking about the sideboard. We have that right there. Uh, Fury, it is a standard. We have our Boros deck there. 27 creatures, heavy on the angels. This this deck moves very quickly. You're going to have to try to avoid those board wipes. Hold some cards in reserve. We have a lot of creatures. 19 of them are angels. 10 of them are clerics. Uh, you can kind of see we have a holy theme here, a holy fury theme here. Um, you can really, really do a lot of damage right down the middle with flying. Uh, really devastating flyers gaining a lot of life they're gonna have to eat through a lot of damage if we just go right down the center by the way we hit the mid range a lot of damage uh you know we'll have them down to eight and we'll be at like 47 life you know and at that point it's like all right yeah you cast a uh, breach the multiverse but is that enough to reel this back in uh so that's kind of what we do we just want to outpower and outlife them very quickly four instance three sorceries three artifact which is an angel two planeswalkers land um is mountains and plains right there 3.1 average we do have a touch of ramp right there again 32 and 3 we do have some boros that we want to do the other ones that i would recommend if we look at another side uh, view here right here boof I would say we can we can move Steel Seraph to the three drop right there and say that that's our top end because you're almost always going to cast that uh, for the three drop. It's really worth it to do the prototype version. Destroy Evil, Sanctify, those are going to be key. Sacred Fire is not bad either. Two damage to any target and you gain two life, especially early in the game when you want to life somebody up and you really want to do it. And that's any target too. Uh, that could go face, so that can finish somebody off. Do not confuse Justice with Mercy. Odric said that. Cool dude. Uh, I'm really, I'm really sad they made his new card kind of suck. Um, so yeah, and that has a flashback for the finish of the game too. This card has saved my life in the late game a couple of times because I'm able to flash it back to just tap somebody out and just push them over the edge. Uh, any kind of other burn though, I mean, if you want to run any other kind of burn, this is the burn that kind of gets you where you need to go with uh, the lifelink aspect. But if you want to run more burn in this to do the direct damage, hit it more aggro on that, maybe reduce the amount of 
the four drops or something like that and really start pushing on the ground, you certainly can. But Sanctify and Destroy Evil, again, the alternate removal abilities right here, I think, uh, against enchantments. That's probably our biggest problem right there. Indestructibility is not a bad idea if you want to put that in. Um, I'm not too mad about indestructibility as an instant. If you're thinking something like uh, you could possibly go with... Um, Elsa Spy is not bad, but what's that one that does indestructible? Uh, the, uh, damn, what's her name? Uh, it's the Hexproof one. She's not a bad ad either to save some of your things. Lauren's Escape, not a bad idea right there. Okay, so that's what we're looking at. We're going to get into some games right here. We did really good. We're pushing up plat. We're going to be smashing diamond real soon. Tell me what you think, what you like, what you don't like. Do you believe that angels deserve to die? Because I cry when that happens. I'm going to be quoting that song a lot. I love System of a Down. You can't change me. It's not a phase, Dad. Here we go. Standard ranked. Let's get into it. By the way, did I tell you guys um, I'm in early access? I am, in fact, in early access. So that's going to be next, uh, we, about a week from now. So just watch out for that, because I'm gonna I'm gonna access it. I'm gonna I'm gonna access it real early, guys. Okay. I'm gonna say it's accessing time, and then I'm gonna access all over the place. You guys remember that? I go. It's access time. Oh, hold on. Uh, hold on. Hold on. Do you see this? Do you see this other color can mix with it? Boros is a perfectly respectable color. My good Sevis. Perfectly respectable. I just want to try this one out. I've been trying to make this one work for a little while. Any color is plus white is white. So, okay, you're saying that Orzov, not even the glory of black, can out, can out, uh, cancel the white. Oh my goodness, cookies. That person is, Lord, that is not a, that, oof. That is not a good person there. Talia, Guardian of Throbbing. Gonna make it pretty thick and throbbing right there. Okay, good stuff. Oh, that's what did it, Cookies? Oh my goodness. You hate to hear it. You know, you always hear the rumors, but... Hey, listen, I, I have zero board wipes in this deck. The reason I like white is angels. Oh.
I love angel decks, okay? Angel tribal is probably one of my favorite things going. Is this some sort of weird mutated Esper Legends? Because this is what this looks like. This looks like some sort of Nightmare Esper Legends that doesn't work. Sevis, I, I feel like your hatred for... Listen, I, I agree with you when it comes to Mono White. Um, When it comes to Mono White... Uh, board wipe and control but i feel like your hatred is a lot of times misplaced i feel like you really should hate blue more blue is blue has gone downhill so much man hey what's up drift ronin i used to like a blue a lot more and I've started to not like blue a lot. It's quickly becoming my least favorite color. The only thing blue is good for is if it's mixed with black. Hey, look, we hit 1,800 followers. That's pretty cool. Gaming with Kentucky and JD is our is our 10 is our 1,800th follower. Uh, no blocks. Really? At all this Raven Man? Raven Man's not very good. If White said we're not doing mass board wipes, mass exiles anymore, but it would would it be redeemed in your eyes? If they're like we're adjusting the color pie, literally Mark Rosewater came out and said, Hey, we 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 admit it. There's way too much board wipe. We're going forward. I think you hate board wipes, and I hate board wipes too. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, I'll admit that one too. They got a cool on the, on the exile. The exile's getting getting a little silly. Yeah, even Trex says that. And if there's one thing we know is that Trex knows things. Unfortunately, yeah, I mean, you're getting to the root of the issue here, Sevis, is that Control is the least fun version of this game. You, you, you've, you've, almost, you've almost turned the corner here and figured out what the problem is. It's, it's Control. Control is the least fun aspect of this game. By far. Control is so powerful. Uh, it's, you know, we're at the point it's like, I don't want... I don't want to play the game. I don't want my opponents to play the game. You know, this this is where we're at. Alright, Exile Terminal, one other. Um, let's do that. Make some noise, Flame. 
I don't understand that play. The best thing to do would have put Katilda. I don't understand that play there. Okay, Waylander said no thank you. They don't play con they don't print control t cards anymore. I don't feel like that's true. What's up Black Magic, Drift Ronin, Fenrir, Mortlock, Tater Chuck. What's up guys? 47 Vrez. Uh, yeah, we can do that. Anybody uh anybody watch I think you should leave. That show is so fucking funny, man. Oof. Fight Riggin. Okay. No thank you. Just gonna put a 1-1 one, one on there. Fantastico. We're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. Great. Perfect. Pop. Snap. Blop. Bop. Hit that, doof, doof, that's naturally flying now. Uh, if he gets another white down, he could run the board. No, that's not it. <sighs> Swing it in, bro. Swing it in, man. You got it, bro. When angels deserve to die, and my self-righteous bore of side. Night, night. You ready to go, night, night? Self-righteous bore of side. Hello. Ello reminds me of Electric Light Orchestra, and that makes me want to sing, I got a ticket to the moon. Any day now, be leaving very soon. I got a ticket to the moon. But I'd rather see the sunrise in your eyes. Stick it to the moon. Oh, ooh, let's do that. Giada Font of Delicious Hope. Let's see if he wants to lose his. Bushwhack. Okay. I am guessing that he is going to be going for a fight. Uh, a fight Golgari right here. Um... Whammy. Uh, let's do that then. Whammy. All right. I I I really think we're running into a fight, Golgari here. Um, Parasaragons. 
Let's do this. Why is he gonna run? Why is he gonna run? Big money, big money, no whammies. And yeah, we'll take that. We'll take an octopus's garden. And then we will take one of those, one of those. We'll bango. You refuse to play out of John Colors. That's dedication right there. That's that's pretty gangster. I, I'm really liking Golgari, by the way. Like, Golgari's... I've been feeling a Golgari. I've been in a Golgari mood. I believe that was a Glenn Miller song, In the Golgari Mood. Pop, pop. Fizz, fizz. Oh, what a relief it is. Pop. We'll keep that one. Push, pop, push. Okay. Ride or die for this worm. Now you sound like a Tyranid. Archfiend of the Dross. Nope, don't do that. Okay. Um, Zerg energy. Yeah, the, the Zergs talk about the swarm a lot more. That's true. Um... Have you seen me play? I've played one removal card. This is all just muscle down the down the flight flight deck, man. This is aircraft carrier energy. We just we just absolute making bombing runs on these people, which is why I like angel decks cuz they're effective like that. I I I roll it right down the middle, man. It ain't complicated. I play Zerg, I play Nids, I play Golgari, what can I say? Yep. That's that big swarm energy. I always like swarm factions. I, I I don't like the nids though. I don't I don't I think the nids are a little bit. Eh, I've never liked them that much. Ooh, nice. We'll do that one, lunar. He's going to hit it. He can resist. The black calls to him. <sighs> you like Steel Seraph? Okay. Yeah, I knew it. He couldn't resist. He could not resist at all. There was no way he could... The 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 the, the, the hall. The, 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 the clarion call of... Uh, <sighs> removal. So far, we've gone four. Uh... Wait, where's my Aether Hub? Man, none of my. So something happened to my computer. None of my start at startup apps are uh, ever. I've stopped starting up. I gotta go back to my startup apps. Kurohine is a uh, Tiger reveals. Ooh. Um. So let's do a voice of the blessed. More, more removal or more discard? Oh my God! Arcane proxy. Wow.
destroy. Okay, very nice. Steal Seraph. What do we got now? Go for the throat, ain't gonna work on that, bruv. Go for the throat, ain't gonna work on that, bruv. What are you doing, Step Seraph? Negative. That's okay, though. That's okay that he wants to hit the negative zone right there. Let's do that. Um, back up first strike and lifelink. <sighs> Let's do Vigilance. Let's do one Wabango. Okay. Go for the throat. Very. I knew he could. I knew he had to go for the throat. Can use on Steel Seraph. I knew it. Negative three. Oh, he's got another one. He's got a cut down. Look at that. Look at that chain reaction right there. So he played f four, three removals off the rip. Um, you're going to have to deal with the Reaper, though, here. Jace. Oof. More removal, probably off the top end. Arcane Proxy, he's going to cast uh, Go for the Throat. Wow, the luck on this guy. He's played the same three cards the whole game. Pretty impressive. The ugly side of control, guys, is that we don't talk about that removal is a form of control. We don't talk about it, guys. It is, though. Mm. We're going to hold off on that. I don't know if he has a removal that will get rid of a... Go for the throat. Won't work. Cut down won't work. He needs something special. Okay. I, You know, I had to give major props to uh, Power Dragon, by the way. Because he was doing a deck, and he was like... I was watching his deck tech, and he's like, I got this, this, this. And he's like, I have Farewell on this deck, but honestly, I hate it, and I don't want to play it. But... uh. And I was like, okay, all right. Props, props, man. <sighs> He's like, I, I'm forced to by circumstances beyond my control. <sighs> and I said, I knew there was a reason I liked you, man. Yeah, this is all removal here. All removal all the time. All removal all the time right here for homie. Just absolute fucking shreds of removal. 
Ooh, Elspeth. That'll actually work. Creature artifact you control. <sighs> Create a token with lifelink. He's probably got a direct removal. Yeah. Look at this dude, man. Look at this dude, man. Just removal, man. There's Invasion of Amun Cat. Just fucking removal. Negative three. Running it in. Yes, the Invasion of Almond Cat. Everyone beware for Almond Cat. Oh, how do you like that, folks? No attacks. Yeah, I just got fucking removed and removed and removed. Look at this fucking shit, man. Look at this fucking graveyard, bro. I'm out of here. Deuces. You're gonna run nothing but fucking kill cards, bro. I wish I wish we could have him on. Yeah, I'd love to have him on. Listen. You run nothing but kill cards and counter spells. You're just an Azorius player in denial. Don't bring black into this. Invasion of Almond Cat. Almond Cat. Uh, yeah, we can do this. Card dropper. Mono red player. <laughs> Mono red player here. He's talking about, I turn cards sideways, you guys. Turn card sideways. <laughs> Schwingo, quite possibly bingo. There we go. All control players are Esper players. They're just deciding what cards to play for that day. We got a Grixis player here, man. Removal? Probably. You know, I'm not that sad to see the um, that damn combo go. You know what the one combo I'm talking about? Uh, Blood Vampire Duplication. All right, now we're just drawing. Now we're just drawing land. The uh, what's that one called? Um, Kiki Jiki. The Kiki Jiki Esper Rakdos duplicate the vampire guy and then just do negative over and over again. I, I am, I am happy to not see that anymore. I mean. I have a feeling that whatever I put out is going to get counterspelled. I'm going to try this first. And I'm going to see it hang in the air like that. Because he's got an absolute rack of instants right here. Yep. Even more. Yep. Yeah, he's got instant tribal over here. Let's try to run it back. I'm trying to pull some of these out of his hand so I can get my uh, Boonbringers. The more removal and uh, the more removal and the more counter spells we can draw from him on a Grixis player. I mean, he's just he's he's biding time until he can hit uh, Breach. Let's not let's not fool ourselves into thinking that he's got some sort of master plan here. He's he's ramping to Breach.
Where's the counterspell? Let's find him. It's gonna be shell game. Watch the lady. Watch the lady. Watch the lady. Big score. Interesting. Okay. We got another four drop ready to go. He's ready to hit his uh his breach or his Itali right now. Um He's ready to go do it. Swing it. Bing it. All right, here we go. Big play, big play. Big play, everyone. Come on. An arcane bombard. I did not expect that. We haven't seen one of those in a while. Well, I have a destroy enchantment right here. Deals five damage. Wonderful. <laughs> Gain a life. Let's see if this makes him quit. Unfortunately, we're kind of going to be stuck in that until maybe some Lord of the Rings can break through on alchemy. I'm probably going to be switching to a lot of alchemy based decks for that exact reason. Um, and he's out of there. That's why, guys, you bring your enchantment destruction. Always bring your uh, enchantment destruction like a condom. Uh, you don't always need it, but when you need it, damn, you need it. You know what I mean? Damn, you need that card. You guys get what I'm saying. I'm going to make a funny video roasting different styles of plays about aggro mid-range combo. That, that, that was it. There was The victory condition was draw cards, white suns, draw cards, white suns. Like, that was it. That was the whole point. It was a Selesnia control, which is a very weird thing to say. Because that's an unusual... Uh, that's an unusual thing to see. Oof, that's not a bad... Apple goes first, I don't like that, but we'll deal with it. Might splice with trees. I'm gonna do that. Wango, wango. I do get funny comments like that sometimes. Buggy man, buggy man, buggy man, buggy man, buggy man, buggy man. I do get funny comments like that sometimes. Savage people, I'll like run a mono red deck and they're like, you have a lot of direct damage in this deck. Is there something else you can recommend? And I'm like, um, uh, uh, um, I, it's direct damage, man. I, I don't... Is he going to hit removal on it? I know he's probably running. He's going to run Volt Surge there. Phoenix Chicky. Okay. He wants to run... I'm going to block, 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 block. No attacks. Let's see what other removal he's got out here. Experimental synthesizer. That's what I think experimental synthesizer sounds like. 
It sounds like synthesizer music. Experimental synthesizer music. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Jelly Bean? All right, let's do that. Let's do that. All right, uh, boof, life link, swing, quite possibly even bing, pop. Um, you know, that was always the rumor when we were little kids, as everyone would be like, yeah, they're adding a fourth color. They're adding a fourth color. It's going to be called, what do we used to say? They're adding, like, purple, and it's going to be, you know what it's going to be, guys? It's going to be uh, deserts. I don't know. We were we were stupid kids, but the, we, we used to say that all the time. We're gonna do life link, wing wing, jing pong. We're gonna do that. Boof. A six color. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Did I misspeak one time? Did I misspeak? I'm sorry I said fourth instead of six. Maybe you should give me shit about it for the next half hour. How about that? Jeez, God. All right, you know what? Stream's over. That's it. That's, I'm, I'm, I'm canceling. <laughs> you know what's funny is there's streamers that do get that mad about stuff. <laughs> By the way, there is, that does, is a real thing that happens. Ooh, another Volt Surge. That's not the right play right there. Okay. Um, let's do this. Yep. All right. Nice. Listen. Counting and remember colors... To be fair, I learned how to count and remember colors. It was like 130 years ago, okay? <laughs> to be fair, all right? That's pretty good. We did pretty good. We cleaned up. We'll give it one more. Ouch. Uh, I go first? All right. Ouch. Let's do that. The funniest thing is when we had um, Hugh here. He went to uh, day nine stream and somebody reported him for his name. This was his name, by the way. And somebody in day nine stream reported. He was just chatting. He didn't say anything inappropriate, but somebody said something in there and was like, "That you can't have names like that. And he, he got a note from Twitch that he had to change it or get banned. <laughs> uh, and it wasn't even Hugh, it wasn't even Day 9 that did it. It was somebody in the chat was upset with it. I'm like, wow, bro, that's... <laughs> oh. Each legendary. All right, Goldforge Thwomper. Golden chartreuse options. Yes. You haven't thought about your gold and chartreuse options yet, guys. Wabango.
the funniest thing was that one on Twitter said, "It's the year twenty. It's the year twenty thirty nine. The only magic card is played on uh, on um, Commander Knight. Was it that one game nights? The only game of Magic is played on game nights. <laughs> a new pack, a new a new box of cards sells for six thousand dollars. Ooh, go for the throat on that one. Nice. Is he going to hit another go for the throat? Probably. No, he's going to go for the thwopter again. My thwopter goes swa, 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 swa. My goldforged thwopter goes swa, 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 swa. Who, not, who understands that meme? That's a real deep cut right there, guys. If you, if you know that one, you're certified gold right there. My gold forge swap there goes schwa 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 schwa. I -E -U, I -E -U, I -E -U, schwa schwa schwa. Yeah, listen, old and gold, man. There's a reason they rhyme. There's a reason they rhyme. Ooh, the Guardian of Throbin. I bet he's gonna attack with this, thinking, "Oh, he can't swing in for that much damage." Uh, let's do that. He's, he might play removal. No. Let's do that. Lifelink. Swingo. He's thinking about... He's thinking about playing... Oh, he's gonna dis... Oh, he knocked it back, ladies and gentlemen. He knocked it back. Boof, boof. All right, fantastico. FC Slayer. Everyone excited about the Starfield Direct? The answer is yes. You should be excited about the Starfield Direct. SMH. Ooh, go for the throat on that one. You said very, but it looked like you said verily. Like you were gonna about to say something old timey. Verily, I doth say. Um it's uh they're they're doing an Xbox developers like an Xbox Direct and they're doing exclusive live gameplay of Starfield, which is the um that one game that's going to be real good. Let's put that down. Let's put that down. We got more removal. We got some bounce back. No. Wow. Sevis Reader and Cookie's really getting into the theme here. Myth. Boom. Okay. Burr, 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 burr. Doing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad <laughs> I'm glad you guys <laughs> I'm glad you guys appreciate the meme <laughs> they've done nothing but text to speech memes <laughs> for like the, the past 10 minutes <laughs> I you I you swa 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 burr 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 uh, that's good stuff. All right, guys. Um, that's angels. We're almost at, um, we're, we're almost at, uh, what's the, what the hell is this called? We're almost at plat one, which means we're almost out of plat hell. We're going to be in diamond hell for a little while. 
I think we could probably get out of Plat Hell this weekend and we'll have, you know, 10, 15 days to deal with. Um, uh, we'll have a 15 days to, to get to um, Mythic. Mythic. Mythic cards. Mythic rank. So watch out for that, guys. I've been Javen, you and great. I E U, I E U, swa, 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 swa. Uh, and, and until next time, guys. Adios. Thank <laughs> you.